I don't think we're gonna have much time as far as questions go. So let me let me talk about a couple of things here. Um, okay, so what if you get what if you juice and you get diarrhea after you have juice, right? Your, your body is not absorbing well, so you have some absorption absorption problems in the intestines, um, which probably means you have a lot of, like I talked about when I showed that picture of the intestines there, you have a lot of accumulation in through there, and all those little, what are called villi, is where the stuff actually gets absorbed. They're, they're basically have compacted stuff around them, so you need to do something to, to, to deal with that. Eating the fruits and vegetables will help you deal with that, especially if you eat like citrus-related stuff. Um, juice a lot of that. The, the organic acids in that stuff, which while there's acid, it doesn't acidify the body. It actually does the opposite when it gets metabolized. But those things literally, it's like a soap or like a Drano for your drain. It's going to eat up that accumulated stuff in there. Um, so that's one thing to do. If you have some serious issues with that, um, probably the fastest way to, to do address that in the way some of the natural cancer treatment places around the world. Um, did I do one after you? Yeah. No, you didn't. That's no. You did not do one. Okay. Um, so if anybody's, I know I've briefly talked about the Gerson Institute before, if anybody's been to classes where I've talked briefly at before. Um, in America, it's not common to treat cancer naturally. In fact, it's basically a crime to do that because we have a cartel, we have a medical cartel that kind of has our government sanctioning it. So if you try and get somebody healthy by eating healthy food, you're a criminal, they have cancer. If you tell them you can help them be healthier, do it. But in places around the world where they don't have those restrictions, they primarily, if somebody comes with cancer, the first thing they do is cleanse the colon. They usually do that with an enema or a colonic type of thing where they're putting water into the bowel, causing it to expel stuff in there, then they're going to get into the organic fruits and vegetable juices that's very common. So exactly what we're doing here is what the best cancer treatment, natural disease prevention place around the world are doing. Um, and then they'll get into actually eating raw fruits and vegetables as a, as a primary, almost completely raw diet. And they'll limit animal products um, severely or completely usually in those cases too. So that's pretty good. We have any... So if you have it, what, what to do if you have it? Um, I would suggest doing those other things. Try and, uh, try and get the colon clean. Do the citrus juices, oranges, lemons. You can mix them with water too to dilute it. Um, juice fasting would be good. Anytime the, the intestines and, and the stomach empty, um, your stomach, your digestive system will still regularly produce enzymes in there. And so if you have enzymes going into a, a bowel with no food in there, it's going to start digesting all that stuff that's plaque on the walls in your bowel and will help you start to eliminate that. So while I know it's not common in our culture for thousands of years, water fasting, so eating no food, has been a primary way to treat disease. In fact, if you read the Bible, right, they're not, talk, they're not joking about people going fasting. They, they actually fasted. Um, so for people with serious conditions, and I'm not saying you should necessarily fast if you have cancer, but um, you know, if you let, allow the body to empty, most people in our culture, their problem is not, their problem is they have too much stored up in the body. They have too much compacted in their liver. They have too much stored in the fat cells. They have an overload of all the stuff we don't need, all the energy and all these toxins. And what they need to do is really have the body use that stuff up and get it out. And you know what, you can go for weeks you know, if you're, especially if you're overweight, you, you could probably go for weeks to a month or more with just water. Now, I'm not suggesting you do that without somebody who, um, you know, supervises that and there are places where that do that. But um, I know that's kind of a tangent, but I just want you, you know, if you do have constipation issues, it's primarily a colon and digestive system issue there. Um, you can pass this out and then I'll go over a couple things because we're running short here. If you have, we can go over, there, there's some things you can do that we can help you with. When you come in and get adjusted next time, we can talk to you about them. And I guess maybe that's part of the concept of tonight's talk is to let you know that, you know, most people, the reason they don't do this stuff is because they don't have a resource. They don't have somebody that can walk them through this stuff, right? It's so new, it's so unusual, they don't, you know, so people need a place, right? They need a place to go to get better naturally. Um, and we're here to facilitate that and stimulate that but ultimately it becomes your journey, 
right? And herein lies the problem with most people, is they're looking for something that they can do passively, not actively, right? It's pretty passive to take a pill. It's pretty passive to get chemotherapy. It's pretty passive to get radiation. What do you gotta do? Be smart enough to lay there, right? It's pretty active to do what we're gonna ask you to do, what you wanna do. The question becomes, do you wanna be healthy? You know? And, and if that's your motivating factor and that's your goal, then there, there's ways to go about that. Um, which is why supplementation is so popular, right? You don't have to do anything but pop a pill. So that's why it's such a lucrative industry. You've already bought into the philosophy to pop a pill. Now, they're telling you it's a natural pill, so you're like, oh, great, right? She values it more than you do, brother. She gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes your mouth so refreshing. Yeah, you get the herbs in there, you, you freshen up. Oh, yeah. Parsley. Short change. We still got some stuff up there. So you got ripped off on the miles. I'll whip you guys up a little special sweet one, right? Um, Ne next issue, what if you get... I, I didn't leave you hanging like that. <laughs> what if you get... Um, let, let me do one last quick one to get to hail some nutrients in their body here. What if you get constipation when you juice? That's not common. If you do, it's probably because you... Oh yeah, we need that thing. <laughs> you already have constipation issues to start with. It'd be very uncommon to, to get that like just from juicing. Um, if you do happen to do that, if you would have that and it gets worse, get some ginger and get a bunch of pineapple and get some grapefruit and some tea. We got that tea there. What's that last one? Yeah. So, what, what was that last one? The Disney juice. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I don't think anybody really needs to worry too much about that, but. Stick to the higher water stuff, the less, the more water-based and the less calorie-based stuff, and uh, and deal with it that way. Definitely drink more water. Period. Part of the reason why Americans are so thirsty is because we don't eat like this, right? So you're not you're not getting water in your food. 